I'm James, an engineer on the What If tool. I'm Sarah, a developer advocate on Cloud AI Platform. We're going to give you an introduction into how you can use the What If tool to better understand your machine learning models. We'll also show you how to run it on various platforms and model types. So James, can you tell everyone what the What If tool is and when they should use it? The What If tool is a visual interface designed to help you understand your data sets and the output of your machine learning models. You can run it with minimal code from many different platforms, including Jupyter Notebooks, Colab, TensorBoard, and Cloud AI Platform Notebooks. Analysis using the What If tool can be helpful during training data collection, model creation, and post-training evaluation. Sarah, you've tried the What If tool on a bunch of platforms. Uh, what are all the ways you can use it? The What If tool supports TensorFlow models out of the box and can support models built with any other framework with just a few lines of code. You can also use the What If tool with your models deployed on Cloud AI Platform. Let's start with an example in Colab. Here we've trained a TensorFlow model on this Iowa housing dataset from Kaggle. It's a binary classification model that predicts whether a house is worth more or less than $160,000. We can instantiate the What If tool with a few lines of code by passing it a set of test data points along with the ground truth labels for those examples. The What If tool has three tabs with different features and the initial view we're dropped into is the data point editor. Here we can see our model's prediction for each data point we've sent to the What If tool. Blue points indicate houses our model classified as above $160,000. In the data point editor, we can also inspect individual data points, change feature values, create custom visualizations, and much more. The next tab, Performance and Fairness, shows a couple of common evaluation metrics for our model. It also lets us slice data by different features and apply various strategies to optimize for fairness. The final tab, Features, shows us how balanced our data set is. For each feature, we can see the range of values for the data we've sent to the What If tool. You can load the Features tab with only a data set, even before you've trained a model. That's awesome. Do you want to show how you can use the What If tool for models deployed on Cloud AI Platform? Yes. Here are a few models I've deployed on AI Platform. I'll open up an AI Platform notebook instance here to analyze this XGBoost model. Then, I create an instance of the WIT config builder, this time using the set AI Platform model method, passing it my Google Cloud project ID, model name, and model version. The WIT config builder contains more methods to customize the What If tool for your use case. I noticed two of your models are trained on the same data set. Can you show us how we can use the What If tool to compare them? Sure. All I need to do is add a line to my WIT config builder to tell it which model I want to compare. Now, you can compare the performance of both models using various capabilities in the What If tool. I should also mention that you can use the What If tool for both classification models and regression models. So to recap, we've introduced you to using the What If tool on various platforms and model types. Stay tuned for more videos to learn what you can do in the data point editor and performance and fairness tabs of the tool. You can also check out more What If tool demos in the links below to see how it works with image and text models. Thanks for watching.